Yeah, that, that Rockets year, I kind of touched on it before, but just getting to see one of the best players in the world and James Harden. Mm. And, you know, a huge reason I made that team was, you know, because of that man. I got there as a rookie and it was like, I was kind of just like ready to hoop, but I didn't know how it was going to go. You never know how those vets going to treat you. You know what I mean? So when I got there and like the first pickup run, James is like, yo, I need, he called me K Willie. That was my nickname. He's like, yo, I need K Willie on my team. And literally if you're standing in the corner, he going to find you the rock. So it's not like, like he going to score. The one thing that's crazy about him is like, he's putting up 30 points in games, but, the one thing that dude, man, can do is pass, and and he makes everyone around him better. So um, going into that year, like, it was just awesome having a guy, like, of his stature kind of in my corner. So when it was time to make roster cuts, like, like people were already con- congratulating me on, like, the, the coaching staff. But until that final roster spot at 12 at midnight was set in stone, I didn't I do I couldn't believe it because when you fighting for those last couple spots like really anything can happen and and like you've seen like to the stars like NBA is like a cutthroat game like it's all business so for me like being a rookie like I, I always knew Europe would be in my back pocket but I wanted to try for the NBA first and so that first year getting to play in the NBA like it was just invaluable for me not only being with the Rockets but shit like if I wasn't playing I could be, I could be like, I actually learned from Montrez and Montrez is like, yo, if you want to hoop, have them send you down to the G league. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of players who don't want to go down there because you know, there's some dogs in the G league on the low. Mm -hmm. So like, like when I sent myself down there, I went down there to get buckets and work on my game. And so for myself, like, that's the one thing people don't realize, like, even though when I signed in Europe, the second year, people were kind of like, oh, he hasn't really played as a professional yet. But if you look at my G League numbers, like I was, I went down there trying to kill. And that's, that was really a big part of my game, like developing was the G League. If you use it correctly, because, you know, some of these dudes, they just go down there and they think like they have an attitude because the NBA team sent them down or something like that. So for myself, like we went to the G League finals and that, that whole experience. And then, you know, we lost in the finals um, to the Raptors, Pascal Siakam, they had Fred Van Vliet, all those guys. And these mm-hmm. guys are getting paid in the NBA now. So it's like, if I'm ever to get a shot again, like I have confidence I can even hoop in the league just because these are guys that I've battled in the G League for years, you know? So there was one time I seen him at a restaurant or something um, and like there, someone took a picture of me with him and I got in trouble because you're not supposed to hang with players of Panthinaikos. And then like, so 